Hey everybody, welcome back to part three hey. of our hopefully helpful uh, what to buy if you want to learn to play the electric guitar. Yes. Uh, in this episode, the final episode, we're going to talk about these. <gasps> what is that? It's a pedal. Pedals. Oh no! The single most addictive, what exciting, coolest thing ever. So, it's a great question. What are I should tell what us if it's a pedal. You, I'm it's on a bicycle. This yeah. is Pete. This is Justin Sandico right. from justinguitar.com. Hopefully a trustworthy source of uh, guitar <laughs> information. Um, yes. I like so, the caveat, trust, hopefully. Yes. Trustworthy. If, you, uh, <laughs> if you don't know what a pedal does. Okay, so any almost every guitar player that you've ever heard playing guitar will have an electric guitar plugged into a guitar amplifier. And that'll give them usually a couple of different sounds. We, we say sometimes a clean sound or a distortion sound. Hopefully mm -hmm. you know what that means. And then, of course, you'll hear tons of other sounds coming up, perhaps more overdriven sounds, or maybe echoes, or maybe like big modulated chorusy sounds, you know, think Pink Floyd, or mm -hmm. who else, you know, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, think yeah. about bands that have more experimental sounds. And all those sounds are, or invariably coming from one, or in many cases, lots <laughs> Two or of, of pedals. Yeah. And pedals can be everything from these little mini ones through to big multi-effects mm -hmm. things. And Yeah, and once you start, it can be very dangerous. Yeah. Yes. That's very dangerous for the bank balance. These are addictive things. Yes. But um, I think the first question we should get to before we get into that is, should beginners use pedals at all? Well, that is the whole question we are here to answer, isn't it? And, and the reason that this video is complicated in a sense is because Pete and I have tried this video in the past, like the best pedals for beginners. And we ended up just going off on a tangent going, well, hang on a second. If I've got... A lot of these beginner amps have got effects built into them that are the same effects that are in the pedals and aren't really any worse than a cheap pedal. No. Uh, yeah. And or, you've also got this... Or even an expensive pedal. Yeah. yeah. You've got boxes like this that have like 50 million yeah. different effects uh -huh. in one but don't cost 50 million times as much as... Maybe yeah. only three times. Pedals. But, and also you might, you might have a practice amp this size, mm -hmm. which is a 50, 60 quid amp, you know, is it worth putting a pedal into it? Because we're sitting here and we might plug into yeah. a, like a two grand amp and we're going, oh, this, this is just what it sounds like. This is what you should buy when you begin. It's like, that's it's a completely, yeah. do you even need to go there? I mean, personally, I think there's a couple of pedals that I think, one, a looper pedal should be anyone's yeah. first pedal purchase. So, well, that's my, I mean, I, what have I you got? I absolutely agree. The, the first pedal you know, somebody should buy will be a looper yeah. so shall we do you no want question. to start there i mean we so we, yeah. we we decided to the only two amps we're going to use in this is we decided to use the very cheapest amplifier to see can we make this sound better by putting pedals uh -huh. or multi effects into it and then we got the dearest amp which has a lot of the effects built in and the idea is going do these effects really sound any better than the effects that are, yeah. that are in there already ziggy what do you think? What's your favourite pedal? Uh, and yes. we also, uh, for fun hey. as well, got just about the most expensive drive pedal that we sell, which is the Vemuram Jam Ray, which is on all the Cool Cats kind yeah. of pedal boards and is about 400 quid for a drive pedal. <laughs> and we were just like, yeah. really? 200 two, pounds two into that? Tarnas. Let's see yeah. what happens. Um, so, well, it depends what you should say. I'd, my opinion is that if you've got a Katana, you need a looper pedal, but that's about it. I really think that what does that, a looper pedal do? Okay, so what does a looper pedal do? That's a very good question. <laughs> so a looper pedal enables you to record a little bit of your guitar and then it will play it back over and over again. For, begin, for real absolute beginners, they're going to struggle to get that looping in time, but it's the kind of thing that's really worth practicing and yeah. really help your rhythm skills. Uh, let's get one plugged in now. Pete the idea, is a master looper. He's a he master is the, looper. He is the Yoda of looping. Uh, so whatever Pete does, don't worry if yours don't sound as good as his. Yeah. So the idea is there's just no, you one, put it in the light. There's, there's one button on the looper. Yeah. Uh, basically, you, you click the button on beat one, like at the start of the recording, and then you click it again, and it stops recording and plays back the bit that you've recorded. That's the basic idea. Yeah. Uh, so we need to get a sound going. So I'm just right. It doesn't have a power supply. Now, yeah. I, I, that's a good shout. Yeah. Uh, 
These micro pedals, which are often the cheapest pedals that you can buy, are so small that you can't fit a battery inside them. So unlike some larger pedals where you can run them off either mains or batteries, these very small ones you can only run off the mains. So I've got a big power supply on the floor here that can power lots and lots of pedals simultaneously. Yeah. But you don't need one. You don't, you don't need that big. And actually I think it's, in a lot of ways it's better to not have the pedal ones because pedal ones, for example, if you've got the, using the pedal and you've got it plugged in and you forget to unplug it, you run your battery down in yeah. one go, basically. Yeah. So yeah. I think it's better to buy a power supply. Yeah, it. but you can buy power supplies from one spot or something else with a little um, thing, daisy, daisy chain, daisy chain yeah. and they'll cost uh, not, again, not very much. Again, uh, without wanting to uh, obviously plug Anderton's too much, we do a lot of offers <laughs> yeah. on a couple of brands where if you buy two pedals, we give you the power supply and like a power daisy chain thing for there free. Well, anyway, free. Okay. free. So the super yep. simplest loopers have one button and usually a volume control. This one is the cheapest one we sell. This is 49 pounds. And if Pete counts me in and you watch what I'm doing on here, you'll hopefully get an <laughs> oh, idea. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This, this is, is, a, is a, doing this. Is, this, is, this is, as the relationship, how's it going? Yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, one. Beginners are not going to make it sound like that. Like, <laughs> he really is really, really good at doing this thing. And that was pretty, didn't we? Yeah. that on. But the, absolutely. Honestly and truthfully, loopers are brilliant for A, it will get you into that sense of counting because you've got to hit the loop on the one beat all uh -huh. the time. So it'll yeah. get into it. Mm -hmm. And you can, you can just do literally like two chords or one chord. You can do a this band, is, this like is a one chord. chord thing. This is one mm -hmm. chord. Noodle over the top, do multi layered loops, whatever. But this is the single most uh, useful practice tool. Desert absolutely. Island pedal. Anything, mm -hmm. in, my, in, in all of our opinions. Yeah, yeah absolutely. For, 49 pounds for the, the Landlord one. Again, if you buy a, a, one of the more famous brands, TC or Boss, whatever, expect to get a similar featured pedal and it'll yeah. be 20, 30 pounds more. You get more features, you can get with two or three uh, loops, so you can in there, you get them with mm -hmm. drums inside. If you want to go full like, Ed Sheeran mode, you can buy loopers that are like five or six yeah, yeah. pounds if you want right, to. You so, have, yeah, yeah. I mean, but, you can go nuts. You know, but but yeah, you just so you've got to have one of these what you really, need to start off with. Yeah. I think that the cool news is I don't think none of these more affordable amplifiers have the looper built in. No, and this is what so I don't know if any of them have. A I don't think they do. They, uh, once you get a little bit dearer, I think they do. But but at this level, I don't. What, think they what do. one has it built in? Uh, the, the little Fender, um, the Fender, uh, Fender Mustangs, Mustangs have got a loopers, but you have to buy a little foot, if you buy the foot which foot costs oh. probably the same as that. Yeah. So yeah. you're up pocket again. So don't some of the dearer Black Stars have loopers built They've in? They've got yes, some of them got loopers uh -huh. built in. Has okay. this one got looper built in? I don't think so. No, Maybe some the of them definitely do, like ID100. Anyway, so just just, to, just okay. to run the loop, but now into this. This is not a loud amp compared no. to this one, but you can. That, this will not alter the sound. So that's just a tool yeah, yeah. for practicing. Which is mm -hmm. awesome, right? With certainly with this amplifier, let me say yes. With both these amplifiers, in fact, all these amplifiers, the only place to plug pedals in is into the front. Yes. And what that does mean, and one of the, uh, is that unless you've got some other pedals to change the type of sound, that whatever you're looping and whatever you're playing is the same tone from the amplifier. Yeah. Uh -huh. So this yeah. sense of having like a clean loop with a driven, you you can't do. Well, we can demonstrate that really quickly by you running the loop. And if I then put it on a crunch channel. You know, so, so it'll change the sound of the car. So you can't do a solo with a crunch, mm -hmm. unless you've got an effects loop, which none of these. So I think, yeah. I think the looper on the whole is like a winner. You should Absolutely. just buy Chicken the dinner. looper for shizzle. Um, <laughs> just a quick one before we uh, move on to the effects type pedals. 
another super useful tool to have as a guitar player is an electronic tuner. But see, we had yeah, a discussion yeah. earlier that Justin said that if you've got one of these, you don't need one of those. You absolutely but don't. If you are trying to build a little pedal board and you know, then... But well, even if you've got a pedal board, I just don't get like, why would you want to have a tuner where you have to walk over to your pedal board in order to use it when this one, you can do it wherever you like. You can turn the volume of your you're guitar right, down, you're right, you're right. walk wherever you yeah, are. You're right. You don't have to walk to the front. It's less real estate I, on your I pedal board. I honestly do. If I'm you know. totally honest with you, in here, the reason the headstock tuners are a pain in the bum is because we're changing guitars so often and the tuner you want is always on the guitar that you've just hung back on there. Okay. Yeah. And if the thing's on your pedal board, it's always where you want okay. it to be. See, when, you are, when you're a touring musician and you change guitars like 10 times <laughs> in, a, in, in a two hour set, if, if you don't have okay. 10 of these on, they yeah, have one yeah, on okay. your board. I mean, there's, but you don't, we're not, that's, I understand at yeah. home is fine, but I always lose these. Yeah, yeah, we, we had we had eight of these in here earlier this year. And now we got two. Anyway, I've lost a bunch as well. But <laughs> I'm just, okay. just going to yeah. show you, just for the sake of uh, you know, why not? What, what it kind of looks like? These are so cheap. These are twenty nine pounds for the landlord one, and even even like proper like mega brands like Boss and TC, their tuners are fifty sixty pounds uh -huh. a year yeah, to spend yeah, a load yeah. of money. You can get a vast um, one, which is you know, oh, you can go one hundred and fifty two hundred oh, pounds if you want. How, how much yeah. are the new Peterson oh. strobe tuners? Create two hundred, maybe more. Wow. Oh, not the new ones, they're on the little one now, but uh -huh. if you want a big one, you know, you're up yeah, a thousand yeah. pounds uh -huh. anyway. Anyway, look, everybody needs to be in tune to play guitar. This is not an effect pedal as such. The other thing I like about this, uh, about pedal tuners, and we were, again, talking to Justin about how lazy we are. If you can't be bothered mm. to turn the volume down on your guitar, <laughs> what's kind of cool on the pedal tuner is you click it on and it mutes it so that no one else has to hear you tuning, and then you turn it off and yeah. go back through the amp. Anyway, that's a pedal. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of think now we're, we're going to get subjective now because we're going right. into the effects pedals. And I've bought out three basic kind of effects pedals. I've bought a couple of drive pedals, one heavier than the other. Do the, I mean, you guys will, when you're listening to music, you go, you're going to hear everybody from like, you know, rockabilly, bluesy, sort of very mild driven sounds right through to heavy metal, you know, super drop tune, crazy drive sounds. So we've got a couple of drive pedals. Uh, I've got a, an echo pedal, echo and delay. Sometimes you uh -huh. get it called delay, delay sometimes yeah. it's delay. called echo, sometimes delay. it's called tape echo. echo. It's all the same delay. basic Repeaties. concept. Repeaties. Repeaties. Yeah. Uh, Repeaties. And I've Repeaties. got Repeaties. a Repeaties. chorus Repeaties stuff. pedal. <laughs> um, chorus is a modulation effect. I, I never think that that's a terribly helpful word, but it's like this wavy sound. Who's like, mm -hmm. think of a think of a band who police. always uses the police. police. Prince, I mean, Prince. Yeah, Prince. yeah, yeah, um, yeah. He, he, yeah. Lots it's of that, that kind. And yeah. you, you've got three main types of modulation the in the beginning chorus. of Paradise City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's You'll hear that. Yeah, but there's good. chorus, phaser, and flanger are all the kind of the modulated type mm -hmm. pedals, uh, and that's chorus is probably the most popular. So, yeah. But now. We're going to switch back to this amplifier. Okay. Because if I'm honest with you, I'm not sure that any of these cheap pedals are likely to sound any better than the effects that are already in the Katana. So let's see how good they sound into yeah. this. So here is our straightforward sound. Actually, pretty easy. I get it. Sorry. <laughs> the, everyone's going. Oh, that's yeah, totally yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Sounds yeah. a lot better than the internal drive in here, doesn't it? Yeah, Massively. It does. Where's the internal drive? What's the sound like? Oh. Isn't that weird? <laughs> that is weird. But let's try that. Let's, okay. Let's just plug, plug it in here on the clean sound. So it does, there's a clean tone. Sound yeah, so, now. I kind of so I like it now. So yeah. you know, just go and do it. Oh, 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 
with the pedal. But, but, so, I, I mean, Do you know what? I, I didn't it's think the Golden Plex was any worse than any of this. No, 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 no. I didn't think it was any better either. And I'll tell you what the yeah. cool thing is, if you do have a looper and then you yeah. oh, definitely you want yes. to have one of those. Oh. Just take it in front of it, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. you okay. you loop something now clean, and then you use it to do a solo. Let's come there back we to go. that at the okay. end. Okay. Okay. There is a re you're totally right. If you buy a looper, there's yes. totally a reason to have pedals with. Uh, anyway, yeah. let's try the other. There's another distortion pedal. That's You'll see what I mean. This, this is like Clamor. less <laughs> less <laughs> driven. <laughs> What's this one? Just the same, same. This is 29 quid. It's called an amber nectar. Uh, To be honest with you, I think, I think the same thing again. It's a perfectly nice sounding distortion pedal, but not really better. I mean, and also for the convenience of having that on the floor and you're jamming along and you want something else instead of going over and taking the boost and putting the uh -huh. thing up and then turning it up, I'll, I'll pay 30 quid for that. I think, do you know what, I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. actually, I'm, I'm sort of going I'm, back I'm, on, you know, bad. that, that and that, why not? I was, I was, I'm, I'm actually surprised that it yeah. sounds as good as it anyway. does. Anyway, so look. Yeah. That's <laughs> but your... I still think, at, at, at 50 quid, how much are these? 30. 20 quid, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 quid. 30 quid. Yeah. 80 quid. 80 quid. 90 quid. That's yeah, it's not it's a shout because at least when you've got a a looper. at least you've got like a foot switchable gain sound. Yeah, yeah and but and then well, you've got the looper. the looper. How much is the looper? Fifty quid. Yeah, but you don't get the looper in that though, do you? No, no, no. I'm just thinking as the the additional costs to get from here to there. So you're up to you're up to uh, two hundred and fifty with that, a katana and that, a looper. A looper and that you're up to about one forty, I think, aren't you? Fifty. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah one forty. Mm -hmm. But then having said that though, you're now at the kind of price of some of the yeah, amps but you, that we... But you still no have looper, to have a looper, no looper. and you still have to pedal because they don't have yeah, the effects loop, effect, so you have to have the, mm. uh, an old plug pedal to get a, well, a drive sound. Hey, not sure what we're concluding here, but let's that, show that you everybody what needs echo pedal. pedal. So just, <laughs> just, to, just to make sure that everyone's clear here, the, the thing with the, that looper, if we have the gain and all of these effects pedals before the looper, we can create a little kind of soundscapey thing to yeah. jam over and then change the I'll sound. I'll do that at know. the end of the video. I'll yeah, show yeah, the we'll kind of the, okay. the run through. So, so we've got, here's an here? echo pedal. We're still in here at the moment. So yeah, you get me a... No, turn that. <laughs> oh, it's you! <laughs> He's playing his own delay. That was very, very authentic. Right, here we go. Sorry. I'll turn the repeats down. So I can adjust, I can adjust how fast the repeats are and how long they last for, but you get the general idea. That's a nice sound. I like that sound. It is. I it's do fine. like a, a, a delay pedal in the front of the yeah. I'd be amazed if yeah. the delay in this isn't better than this, but we'll see. So try a delay on this. It's just the Hang same, on. isn't it? observation comment really is if you want to be able to switch the effects on and off 
on the boss amplifier whilst you're playing guitar, you do have to buy the optional foot switch. Yep. It's not cheap, is it? It's no, about it's £70, pounds, yeah, isn't it? It's, it's and like, and it, more it doesn't give you all of the... You're still going to have to do a, a bit of... You have to go in and you have to, you have to make sure you set whichever one for which pedal. You need to get into a bit of computer science. Yeah, you do. If you're going to get you involved do. And that. you can still not use the looper because the looper has to go in the front because there's no yeah. fixed loop in that. And I'm which means that like, you then you, you do need to have let's, the... When I'm doing workshops and stuff... When I'm I, I nearly always use effects boxes as opposed to multi effects things. Yeah. Yeah. Just effect because box. they're wow. just because they're you can grab the stuff really quickly and yes. change it and yeah. edit it and you don't have to scroll through menus or do anything like yeah. that. So because it takes a bit of time to get into. Yeah. Chorus. Chorus. Okay. Here's just a clean sound. See, now there is, soon, there is chorus in yeah, here as well, isn't it? You've got to wind it around. Like there you go. I think I like this one better. Yeah, but that's... Again, you have to dive into this. There's like 50 pedals inside yeah, yeah, yeah. boss pedals in the here. The chorus in that is really good. Yeah, is you have to dig around all of those things. Yeah, it's, bit, you have is to get there much a bit of point having the <laughs> okay, Scra scrap the whole video. All you need to do is buy one of these and a few tennessee pedals, and you're fine. Right. But this is actually really good. I didn't I, realize this I'm going to just do just yeah, for yeah. shits and giggles here. Um, and giggles. The Vemuram. So th this pedal costs more than everything else in the whole room added, or in the rig rather, added up together. So this, this we are it's not five suggesting times you do more this. You can buy the two of these for that pedal. Yeah. And it Just doesn't saying. even say in and out on the thing, so I can't remember which way around it's supposed to go either. Uh, you want no, to yeah, this in one? here. Okay. Uh, there we are. Got... Oh, no, no, no. I... Oh, you had it turned down, did you? So does this does this make this sound like a five hundred pound amp? Pretty good. <laughs> That's actually no, really surprising. It's, it's I fine, would, but you would not buy this pedal to go no, with this amplifier. You, of course you not. Wouldn't, you, know, you, you wouldn't. You know, but you wouldn't. actually, there is a surprising. Yeah, this is there you go. This is honestly like, surprising. Let's try it in here. <laughs> That's actually <laughs> really good. I, I'm not switched off. Here we go. Clean. Clean. Okay, here we go. You can buy two of these for that, so you know where right, you yeah. want to go there. So what I want to do now is just purely and simply demo <laughs> the whole idea of having several pedals with the looper <laughs> at like, the end. Well, it actually sounds uh, decent. Yeah, it actually sounds sounded pretty yeah. good. Um, so oh, we're gonna we're gonna stay with the East Coast amplifier because that's like if we can make this sound good, we can make anything sound good. Um, and we're gonna go a guitar into which of the two drive pedals did you prefer the lower gain or the higher gain the lower gain the lower gain okay oh, yeah. yeah it doesn't matter it doesn't matter <laughs> exactly whichever one yeah. so we're going to have a bit of one. gain yeah. A, yeah it's the cheapest one too we're going to have a bit of gain i'll have to lay these down otherwise they'll lay them over. down on a bed uh, of roses. in fact i'm going to put them on the floor then i can plug them all in okay there we go i yeah. put four pedals on the floor some distortion <laughs> some chorus some delay and a looper yeah. we're going into the east coast and i'm going to count justin in Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now we're going to do the solo.
Are we good? Maybe we have just <clears throat> convinced ourselves that it is worth having a little pedal board and it doesn't and then to any amp because at least you can have some fun with the looper then and it's all good. My yeah. very last last thing though is I want to try and do is just to go. So technology now is wow. such that you can okay. buy tons of stuff in one box. So this is a hundred yeah. just just over a hundred pounds. This is a <laughs> Zoom. Christ. This is from Zoom. You know, Boss and, and Moore and Hotel they all and all do, do one, kind yeah, of yeah. similar things. The yeah. Zoom has always been a, 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 a one of my favourites. But so I will just plug this in. So concept. Imagine oh, I had like on. a zillion different pedals. Well, not a zillion, but in this instance, probably twenty or thirty different pedals. And I could choose any five or six of those pedals. Uh -huh. Tweak them how I want it. You know, obviously you've got to be fairly familiar and uh, with you know how to go into the menus and tweak that sort of stuff. But I could tweak them and go, yeah, that combination of settings is exactly mm -hmm. how I want to sound. Save that as number one. Number two, I would like to be. Oh, sorry. Oh. occurred to me that I've uh, fibbed about this having a looper in it. Certainly, uh, it has a bigger brother that has a looper in it. Yeah, uh, I think the five does. I'm not tweaking anything. This All I'm doing is going through the, the, the manufacturer's the things that came when out. it comes out. Yeah, so yeah. I could do so much more with this if I wanted to. Uh, I mean, again, we just went through the first video. Is there any other good ones? It's like beautiful acoustic-y kind of sounds. That's good. Now, I, I you, will you know. caveat, not caveat this. This is my experience of like 30 years of selling this stuff is what you get with multi effects units is you get a sound a level of sound quality that's here. If you have an amplifier that's underneath that level of sound quality, it typically raises the sound yeah. to here. Mm -hmm. If you have an amp that's over the sound, like a really nice valve amplifier yes. or something, it typically brings mm -hmm. it down to the level that's of the effects good observation. So, yeah, I'm, so I love, yeah. you know, affordable multi-effects units like this into, will typically make a cheap amp sound much better, mm -hmm. but might make an expensive amp sound worse. If you went up to something like, you know, Helix or Kemper or whatever, Axe yeah, yeah. Effects, again, those are much more designed to, to keep going up. So, you know, you can have your great amp use yes. yeah, and yeah. it still sound mm -hmm. great. But, but stuff like this can only get you so far. I, and that's I, when you start, you start yeah. guessing, but, but as it's what, called but for. What, but what a great way of exploring what the effects are, because if you're new to guitar, yeah. you don't know what a chorus is or a flanger is or what yeah. a phaser is or what the differences are between yeah. those things, a multi-effects can give you a sample of all of those things that you go, I yeah. love chorus effects. And just, yeah. I'm just gonna go feel, and buy the really expensive Feel that as well, jobby, because you know. I know in the past, certainly Ooh. the cheaper stuff has been plasticky, and if you do go down to 50, oh. 60 pounds on this, oh, metal. it is, yeah. it is it still plasticky. Yeah. But at this price level, you know, I said just over 100 pounds, so not silly expensive. That's they're, really good. They're pretty chunky as well. Hey, there we are. So that, wow. I think, what we should do, I think, is summarize our own three opinions then, so you can have any of the guitars, any of the amplifiers, and any of the pedals that you want, with the exception of the Remuram one, you're not allowed that one. What is your 
you know, if you were gonna learn, if if you were gonna learn to play guitar tomorrow, Start or you up. were you were gonna bring your Crikey. one of your students in, and the same for you, what what what's it gonna be? No, I, I mean, buy that kit, the one hundred and forty nine quid yeah. kit with that in, and then you know, I like a looper, so I'll probably just get an overdrive and a looper pedal for myself. Because if you need to learn all of this stuff, well, you need to learn to play. It's probably so you're being super, important. super budget conscious there because your 150 pack plus the two pedals has kept the whole thing sub 250. So you've got a guitar and amp, a looper pedal and a drive pedal to use with this amplifier and you're happy at I, I think I, maybe the tuner or maybe it comes with a clip on tuner. I think, it, I think, I think it the pack comes, comes with, with a tuner, cheap clip on tuner. So, uh -huh. so I think you can always, once you get into it and you know this is what you want and all that stuff, then I would start looking at yeah. the katana or maybe these kind of things. But uh, I don't what, think there's anything wrong with it. No, like, oh, what, it's what like was, really surprising no, to me. Um, what was your, and, wh and which guitar? You just like the basic GS? I, I would take the... Uh, the three single well, coil GS or the... No, yeah, it's because I'm a more, for me personally, I like three single coils. This is great. Cool. I mean, what, they are 99 pounds. You can go in and no, look which one you want, you know. I think that's just a taste yeah. thing. Like, yeah, that's they, a taste they, thing. They're all playing pretty well. Yeah. Uh, it makes it, it again, great. I, think I think some yeah. of the guitars in that range are like black with a black scratch plate. So all uh -huh. of a sudden it has a much more, you know, like uh -huh. the, the red with Rockier the white scratch plate is absolutely about the 60s Hank kind Marvel. of yeah, vibe. Yeah, but exactly. black with a black scratch plate, it's the same guitar, same price, yeah, 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 but all yeah, of a sudden yeah. it's got a much more it's got metal a kind of vibe. And I think people find that pretty important. Yeah. I really like this one. I'll probably get this one actually. What about you, Justin? Come on. I'll get this. I've got to... It depends on the budget again. Yeah. So if you've only got two hundred and fifty quid to yeah. spend, it's going to be a similar. I'd probably go the hundred quid guitar. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed with that multi effects. I must say, for a hundred quid, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> you know, that's 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 almost like these three. Now, but it, and it depends a little bit for me on with the looper thing and and what and where looper, you're I at with the beginner yeah. thing because. I really think the Katana is an incredible amp. It's one of those ones where you buy it once. You don't need to buy another amplifier yeah. for some time. Whereas if you if you did start with that one, probably a year in, you're going to be going like, yeah, I need a, a, I yeah, need a bit that, more juice. But then you now. can save up at that point. You can go now yeah, more no, interested. Exactly. You might, not, you might not be interested in playing guitar at all once you get it home and you sit down and that's not for me. Then you've bought a Katana and then you have to, you know, get rid of it somehow. That's or true. Or sell it. So yeah. it's I, 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 yeah. set at I all. I think I'm inclined to say... I probably would wait until I knew that I wanted to go and jam with my friends and all that kind of stuff yeah, before maybe. going Katana. You, he well, I, I was yeah. hoping that that summary would be slightly more helpful and conclusive. <laughs> uh, so sorry, everybody. I Scattered think the general them. thing is it's just like any of this stuff. But uh, no, is you can't cool. go wrong. 149 quid for this <laughs> yeah. with a guitar and a tuner clip on. Well, it's all you need to begin with and then work uh, your way up from there. Uh, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this little <laughs> short series of videos. The, uh, uh, again, Here's the best little silver nugget of all my advice of all playing ever. And that's, you need to learn to play the guitar. <laughs> More importantly than any of the gear you buy. Yeah. So go on Justin, yeah, show I yeah. promise you, uh -huh. it's like Oops. a great guitar player uh -huh. can make anything sound great and a terrible guitar player can't make anything sound great. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it's the end. So absolutely, go and yeah. see justinguitar.com. Um, get the lessons from there you know or if you know if learning online isn't your bag or whatever you know go and find a great tutor uh, mm -hmm. to teach you to play oh, guitar and practice them, yeah. Yeah. practice 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 guitar is uh, is a is a two-way thing the more you give it the more it gives you back mm -hmm. uh the Absolutely. end like and then marriage. once you're reasonably good then come to anderson's and spend all your hard-earned cash on uh, <laughs> yeah. the best gear you can on 12 grand guitars <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> anyway thank you so much justin for coming over cheers you're very welcome. Thanks, thanks, man. great thanks, playing guys cool. thank you see, see you, you later watching. see you later bye bye